Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are going to solve one integration problem from Math Olympiads. It is integration x over cube root x times x plus 1 dx. Let's call this integration i. And I will use substitution so I can see cube root is in the denominator. x I can write t cube. So dx will be equal to 3t square dt. So i equal to integration in place of x t cube, cube root x is t, x plus 1 t cube plus 1, dx 3t square dt. Now I can cancel 1t from the numerator and denominator. So it will become 3 constant outside it will be t power 4 dt over t cube plus 1 and dt. Now I will add and subtract t from the numerator. See. Now I will split with respect to t power 4 plus t. See it will become 3 times integration t power 4 plus t over t cube plus 1. And then I will be writing minus t over t cube plus 1. Outside dt is there. And what is advantage of this? Now you can see if I will take t common from the numerator first term. So I will be having 3 times integration. I will write t common t cube plus 1. And denominator is t cube plus 1 dt minus integration of t over t cube plus 1 dt. Now I will cancel t cube plus 1 t cube plus 1. So I will become 3 times integration t dt minus 3 times integration t dt over t cube plus 1. Now we have to integrate t dt. So I can write t square by 2. Let's write here. I will be writing i equal to 3 times integration t dt and then it was minus 3 integration t over t cube plus 1 dt. Let's integrate. So I will be writing here t square by 2 plus integration constant we will write at last. Minus 3 times integration t over t cube plus 1 dt. Now this part is done the first part. Only the second part where integration sign is there, we have to still evaluate. So let me call this integration equal to i1. So I can write i equal to this i will be 3t square by 2 minus 3i1. Once I will calculate i1, then I will put over here. So let us write i1 equal to. And I1 will be integration t over t cube plus 1 dt. Now I will apply formula for a cube plus b cube in the denominator. So I can write integration t over t plus 1 t square minus t plus 1 dt. Now let's use partial fraction to resolve this one. So I will write here i1 equal to or let me consider the function only. So I will write t over t plus 1 times t square minus t plus 1 equal to a over t plus 1 plus bt plus c over t square minus t plus 
take LCM. So T will become A times T square minus T plus 1 plus Vt plus C times T plus 1. Let's multiply. It will become a t square minus a t plus a, and then I will be writing b t square plus b t plus c t. So I will write b plus c times t, and then plus c. Now this side I will write a plus b t square coefficient of t. Then I will be writing b plus c minus a times t and constant will be a plus c. Now only we have to compare both sides coefficients. So I can write a plus b equal to 1. No, it will be 0. b plus c minus a is 1. The coefficient of t both sides. So it will be 1. Constant comparison will give us a plus c 0. So if I will write from this equation b equal to minus a and I will put over here then I will be writing c minus 2a equal to 1 and you can see the third equation it is c plus a equal to 0. So if I will subtract both the equations then it will become minus 3a equal to 1 or a equal to minus 1 by 3. Once a is known B is also known. So I can write B is equal to minus A equal to 1 by 3. And C is also known. C is minus A again. So this value will be equal to C. Okay. So B and C both values are 1 by 3. A is minus 1 by 3. Let's put over here. So I will write. I will write minus 1 by 3 over t plus 1 and then I will be writing 1 by 3 t plus 1 by 3 over t square minus t plus 1. Now if I will integrate that integration so that part I will write here it is dt so you can see I will take 1 by 3 out. So it will become minus sign here and dt over t plus 1. And then I will be writing plus 1 by 3 common here also. It is t plus 1 over t square minus t plus 1 dt. Now easily we can integrate the very first integration. So I can multiply both sides by 3 because 3 i1 is required in the calculation of i. So I will write here 3 times i1 equal to minus integration of dt over t plus 1 plus integration of t plus 1 over t square minus t plus 1. And here it is dt. Now if you will see the first integration then we can write it straight away it is minus ln mod t plus 1 plus integration constant we will write at last plus here it is integration t plus 1 over t square minus t plus 1 dt now we have to only integrate this and left hand side is 3 i1 and i was let me remind only it was 3t square by 2 minus 3i1. That's why I am calculating straight away 3i1. Okay, let us calculate the last integration. Integration of t plus 1 over t square minus t plus 1. So I will write here t plus 1 over t square minus t plus 1 dt. Now I will multiply numerator by 2. So I need to divide also. So I will write 1 by 2. 2t plus 2 divided by t square minus t plus 1. Now I can write 1 by 2 integration 2t minus 1 plus 3 
2 can be written as 3 minus 1 t square minus t plus 1 dt is there now i will split i will write 1 by 2 integration 2t minus 1 over t square minus t plus 1 dt and then i will be writing our 3 so it will become 3 by 2 integration of dt over same denominator t square minus t plus 1 so it is converting into 1 by 2 integration if i will consider denominator t square this equal to u t square minus t plus 1 equal to u then 2t minus 1 dt equal to d now you can see 2t minus 1 dt is there so i will be writing over there u okay so that will be du and denominator it is u plus 3 by 2 and integration dt over t square plus 1 minus t okay now du over u ln u half ln u u is mod of t square minus t plus 1 now the last integration it is 3 by 2 integration of dt over t square minus t plus 1 this we have to calculate let us calculate let's rewrite the value of 3 i1 so i will write 3 i1 equal to this is minus ln t plus 1 which we have already calculated actually plus 1 by 2 and it was ln t square minus t plus 1 and then we have 3 by 2 if i will take like this then integration dt over t square minus t plus 1 this is so far 3 i1 and our very first integration conclusion was i equal to 3t square by 2 minus 3 i1. So we have calculated 3 i1 only this part is pending. So I will write integration dt over t square minus t plus 1. This one I can write integration dt over t square minus t 1 i can write 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 so from first three term it is one perfect square so i can write dt over this is t minus half whole square and then i can write 3 over 4 as root 3 by 2 whole square Now you can see it is dx over x square plus a square format. So I will apply that integration formula. It is 1 over a. So I will write 1 over a. a is root 3 by 2. Tan inverse x over a. So here it is t. So I will be writing t minus 1 by 2 divided by a is root 3 by 2. So I can write here 2 by root 3 tan inverse 2t minus 1 taking lcm divided by root 3 now let me put over there this value so ultimate value of 3 i1 if i will be writing then it is minus ln t plus 1 plus 1 by 2 ln mod t square minus t plus 1 then i will be writing plus 3 by 2 or let me write here 3 by 2 2 over root 3 tan inverse 2t minus 1 over root 3 in bracket and since we have completed our integration calculation part so integration constant c
or we can write here also integration constant c now we can cancel this 2 and 2 3 and root 3 i will cancel by writing over there root 3 so it will be root 3 here only okay so over 3 i1 if i will write equal to then it is minus ln mod t plus 1 then plus 1 by 2 ln mod t square minus t plus 1 and last value is root 3 tan inverse 2t minus 1 over root 3 plus integration constant c. Now I can write our i value the ultimate value 3t square over 2 minus 3i1. Let's plug in the value and let us put the value of our substitution back because our substitution was it was x is equal to t cube. So I will write here t is equal to x power 1 by 3 or cube root 3. And similarly t square is also there. So in place of t square we can write x power 2 over 3. Let's write i. So I will write i equal to 3 by 2 t square. So x power 2 by 3 minus 3 i1. See i1 is multiplied with minus sign. So plus ln mod x power 1 by 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 because minus was there ln mod t square so x power 2 by 3 minus t x power 1 by 3 plus 1 and then minus root 3 tan inverse 2t minus 1 so 2 times x power 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 and plus c the integration constant and this is our final and ultimate answer. This brings the end of this video. It was a little lengthy. I hope you will enjoy this. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video, goodbye friends. Bye-bye. Take care.